Grim Reaper hangs over the Nissan 350Z, Volkswagen sets a Pikes Peak record, and Pontiac greenlights a new coupe. I'm Gene Dirty Sanchez, and this is Fast Lane Daily. Sure, the Nissan 350Z is a fun car with loads of power and can be had for a decent price, but it does come with one unwanted option, that is the Grim Reaper. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says the 350Z has a death rate nearly double that of the average sports car, and it's no fault of the car. The Institute says 350Z drivers tend to be young, inexperienced, and willing to take risks like the girls of MySpace, and that means when accidents happen, they happen bad. This guy got away easy. Not so much for his Technicolor paint job though. If you thought diesel SUVs were the sloths of the auto industry, Volkswagen of America says eat my dust. The company set a new Pikes Peak record this past week. Driver Ryan Arciero ascended the 14,100 foot incline in a Touareg V10 TDI. It was part of the 2007 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb in Colorado. Arciero's time in the diesel Touareg was 13 minutes and 17 seconds. That was enough to break a record in the category of Alternative Fuel Diesel Truck High Performance Showroom Stock Division. That sounds like a mouthful, and we're not quite sure what else competes in that division, or if Volkswagen just made it up to beat its own record, but congratulations anyway. Next up, a new sibling is on the way for the Pontiac Solstice, and supercar prototypes hit the ring. That's in the internet rumor mill after this. Got a story for Fast Lane Daily? We want to know about it. Give us a call at 213-291-1883 or tips at FastLaneDaily.com. And if you just can't wait, send us a name at Fast Lane Daily and don't forget to subscribe to Fast Lane Daily on your favorite internet video provider. So what would give the Pontiac Solstice more sports car racing cred? A V8 would be nice, but that's not happening. What is happening is Pontiac will roll out a Solstice Coupe for 2009. First shown in 2002 as a concept car, the production coupe won't just be a model made of foam. Automotive News says it'll be the real deal. It won't get a V8 or even a V6, but will likely get the same turbocharged 2.0 liter 4 that produces 265 horsepower in the Pontiac Solstice GXP. Club racers will more than likely go for the coupe over the Roadster, but whether regular buyers are ready for a two-seater coupe remains to be seen. And finally, it was a full house of sports car prototypes on Germany's Nürburgring recently. Spy photographers grabbed shots of a supercar parade, including the Lexus LFA, Aston Martin DBS, and the BMW M3. Those models are all undergoing shakedown testing ahead of their introduction in the coming year. That means it'll be a very interesting 12 months. That wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when we bring you exclusive footage of Alpha's new 8C and Oldsmobile's hot new Cleveland Steamer prototype. See you tomorrow.